decision time. You know, I'm an independent, registered independent. You voted for President Obama, didn't you? I did. I voted for President Obama. And, and you know, where I stand right now uh, with, with that is I'm just disappointed uh, and had very high hopes and expectations and was really, you know, inspired by President Obama. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I still am. You know, he's an amazing speaker. Um, but I, I just found his, in my opinion, uh, his administration ineffective. A lot of promises. Uh, but no real delivery. And it sounds like you're about to change your vote. <laughs> <laughs> and you live well, in the all-important state of Florida. <laughs> yes, most importantly, um, you know, it's what's Romney offered, and that's kind of where I sit right now. You know, it's it's where's the plan? You know, lay it out uh, so the American people can understand it. Do you think the debates will help? I hope so. Uh, I hope so. You know, I, I mean, my heart and soul <clears throat> would really love someone like Reagan or FDR, FDR to come back and give us a new deal. Be bold. Be committed. Don't care what anybody thinks. When you the say, vision thing. Yeah, man. When you tear down that wall, do it. And we've got to look at it. In my opinion, we've got to look at our situations uh, like that. And, and I just hope that in these debates tonight we see uh, that someone do that. And it's, it, for me, it's hard to, to commit and to trust to President Obama again uh, because I was so inspired and thought everything was going to change. And I know he walked into a tough situation, right. but uh, I feel change is in the air. Uh, I feel this recession, in my, I call it my house, the great, the great correction. Yeah. And uh, I think it's needed for us to grow, but we got to have someone lead us. Um, well, 